Welcome to Matia Valley, or at least that's what Andrew Kohut is saying to Chris Brower and company as the Warriors walk into the gym. Wubansi up 12-9 in the first set. Caden Rigel tries to wrangle a tough shot, but Jack Genzer responds with the strong holding block. Wubansi up four now. Matia still trailing four later in the set. Kohut throws a heater towards Dub B's back row that they just can't handle. Matia down three now. Set point for Wabanzi and Chris Brower sends it home for the first set victory, 25-21. Matia trailing two in the second set. A back set to Kohut gets them down only one. Then they take the lead, up 20 to 19 now. A little bit of chaos on the court by the net and some back and forth, but then a big block from Eddie Forsyth gets the point and now Matias up two. Wubansi with match point, but they can't bring it home. A free ball has chaos and Matia survives. Now they lead 28-27 and after a crazy second set, Wubansi gets called for a lift and Matia pushes to a third set. Matia leading 18-14 in the third, and Wabanzi throws the sneak attack on the second touch, but then Matia throws it right back at them for the point. Mustangs up 21-16, Nealon sets up Caden Rigel, and the kill is too much to handle. Rigel with 10 kills on the night. Mustangs match point now, and naturally Andrew Kohut gets up, hits it right into the block, and that ends it. 21 kills on the night for Kohut in this three-set victory. It was definitely came down to Serbian passing. We were really just shooting ourselves in the foot. Um, that's how it's kind of been the last couple of matches, is uh, trying to fight against our own errors uh, as opposed to the other team. But I think we did a better job in the uh, latter sets of really playing against the other team and not ourselves. He was telling us to like, take deep breaths. We're not, we're not, it's not over yet. And then we can come back, and which we did, we came back.